revive? Xiao Xian was momentarily startled upon hearing Xiao Yan's words. He immediately laughed softly and shook his head. Currently, I am only a soul fragment. Moreover, from a certain point of view, I cannot even be considered a soul fragment. If it is not because of the unique aspect of the heavenly tomb, I have already disappeared from this world. As for being revived, I'm afraid that it should not be possible. Although Xiao Yin was already a little mentally prepared upon hearing this, his face could not help but be filled with disappointment. Xiao Xian's strength did not lose to Han Tiendi. If he could fight, it would not be impossible to deal with the Han clan. Is it really completely impossible? Xiao Yin sighed and spoke without being willing to give up. Ugh, at least I do not know if there is any method for me to be revived. Perhaps, that legendary elite Dou Di could achieve this. Xiao Xian laughed in an open-minded manner. Dou Di, Xiao Yin laughed bitterly. This had clearly broke all of his expectations. Where could one find a whatever Dou Di expert existence? If there was really one, the Hun clan would not have been allowed to act so arrogantly. Ha ha, do not waste your time on a person like me who is already dead. Xiao Xian smiled and shook his head. His eyes looked at the young man in front of him, and the smile on his face suddenly became increasingly gentle. He said, you were able to obtain such an achievement without relying on any bloodline strength. Honestly speaking, I am already very pleased with this. The men of my Shao clan is ultimately a little extraordinary. The Hun clan possessed the ability of the Tunling clan. This had somewhat exceeded my expectation. It was unexpected that they had hidden the Nihility Devouring Flame. However, if this was the case, there is finally an explanation about those gradually declining ancient clans suddenly disappearing back then. Xiao Xian smacked his lips and said, Given the current strength of the Han clan, even the Gu clan will have difficulty fighting with them alone. Xiao Yin nodded quietly. The current situation was really not good for them. The Han clan has also managed to obtain seven of the two Shi ancient god jade. The final piece in your hand. Moreover, this piece will have to be used to exchange for your father, who is in the hands of the Han clan. Xiao Xian leaned on the tomb and looked at Xiao Yin. If this is the case, they will likely be able to gather all the ancient jade and they will learn the location of the Tushi Ancient God Mansion and open it. Does Ancestor know what exactly inside the Tushi Ancient God Mansion? Could it really enable one to advance into the Dodi class? Xiao Yin frowned and asked. Dodi. Xiao Xian softly muttered this name, which had once caused him to be incomparably persistent and hardworking. He softly said, Counting the time, it is likely that there has not been any elite Dodi appearing on this Dochi continent in the last 10,000 years. No one knows what is the reason for this. Although an elite Dodi was also considered the ultimate expert of the world during the ancient times, they did exist then. However, that level had now merely exist in the legends. It is impossible to examine what had happened during the ancient times. No one understands why it is so difficult to train to the Dodi class now, back then. I have attempted to break into that illusory level when I reached the peak of the advanced 9-star Doshan class. However, I ended up returning in failure. However, I have also made a discovery through that failure. Xiao Xian's eyes had a luster flickering within them. Oh, what discovery? Xiao Yan's mind was braced. Given my strength back then, it is sufficient for me to attempt to break into the Do D class. However, each time I was about to break through that layer of barrier, a kind of empty feeling would surge from deep within my soul. This emptiness allowed me to understand that there seemed to be something missing in the process of breaking into the Do D class. This thing was extremely critical. If one could obtain it, breaking through to the Do D class would not be mere empty words. Xiao Xian pressed his lips together. His face was a little stern. Xiao Yan's face revealed an expression of deep thought after he heard these words. He suddenly recalled the Yellow Spring Demon Saint within the stone tablet in the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe. He had also said that there seemed to be something missing from the Dochi continent. Moreover, it was precisely this missing thing that had resulted in no experts breaking through to the Do D class within the last 10,000 years. Just what is lacking? Xiao Yin frowned and asked. The lacking item is perhaps some item, but I highly suspect that it should be a kind of mysterious energy. This type of energy should have existed in the ancient times. However, it has become increasingly faint now. It might even have completely vanished. There was a wisdom flashing within Xiao Xian's eyes. He looked at Xiao Yin and said, I have called this critical energy as Essence Di Qi. Essence Di Qi, 
Xiao Yin muttered in his mouth. The reason he did not have such a feeling was likely because he had yet to reach the advanced nine-star Dou Sheng class. Does ancestor mean that the reason the ancient era could produce elite Dou Di was because it possessed the essence Di Qi? However, this essence Di Qi had already vanished from this world. Therefore, no other elite Dou Di has appeared? This should be the case. I have once roamed most of the territory of the Dochi continent. However, I did not sense the existence of that kind of essence Di Qi. Xiao Xian nodded and said, In other words, would it not mean that the current Dochi continent will no longer be able to produce elite Dou Di? But Hun Tiandi firmly believes that the Tu Shi ancient god mansion will allow him to break through. Could it be that the mansion has some essence Di Qi present inside? Xiao Yan's eyes flashed and said, I do not know if the two Shi ancient god cave have any essence Di Qi. However, there was an embryonic form D tier medicinal pill within the cave. The aim of Hun Tiandi is that thing. Xiao Xian shook his head and said, Embryonic form D tier medicinal pill? Xiao Yan's heart quivered upon hearing this. His expression was slightly altered. Being an alchemist, he was naturally clearly aware about the D tier medicinal pill. In the eyes of many alchemists, the D-tier medicinal pill represented their faith and pursuit. That type of ultimate high-tier medicinal pill caused countless of alchemists to train with all their strength. Similarly, however, there seemed to be no one who could refine a D-tier medicinal pill since the ancient times. Even Tier 9 medicinal pills have become extremely rare. Although this is partly because of the loss of the inheritance of some alchemists, the main reason was because this world no longer have any essence Di Qi remaining. Refining a D-tier medicinal pill also requires the essence Di Qi that I have mentioned. Without it, regardless of how skilled the alchemist is, he will not have the ingredients necessary to refine it. Xiao Xian said, If I guess correctly, that D-tier embryonic pill within the Tu Shi ancient god Jade should be the only one left in the world. Hence, as long as Hun Tiandi obtains it, it is very possible for him to absorb the essence Di Qi within it and break through the Dou Di class, which no one had reached in the last 10,000 years. Xiao Yan nodded with a grave expression. Just that tier 9 embryonic pill is sufficient to cause any 9-star Dou Sheng to become crazy. No wonder the Hun clan paid such attention to the Tu Shi ancient god mansion. It was actually because of this. Does Ancestor know where the Tu Shi ancient god cave is located? Xiaoyan asked with some anticipation. If they knew this answer, they would be able to wait outside of the mansion even if the Hun clan really managed to gather all the ancient jade. They must snatch the D-tier embryonic pill at all cost. Even if they failed to do so, they must destroy it. This was because everyone understood that if Hun Tiandi was allowed to successfully advance into the Dou Di class, there would be no one in the world who could fight with him. The so-called alliance was completely useless in the face of the might of an elite Dou Di. I am unaware of this. The reason I am aware that there is an embryonic D-tier medicinal pill inside the Tu Shi Ancient God Mansion is because that information reached me when the Tu Shi Ancient God Jade had yet to be separated back then. However, before I could completely decipher the information within the Ancient Jade, the eight ancient clans had turned into an uproar over it and began to fight. Finally, the Ancient Jade was broken into eight pieces. Xiao Xian shook his head and said, Hence, if one wished to learn of the whereabouts of the Tu Shi ancient god mansion, one must definitely gather all eight jade pieces. Moreover, it also requires the eight of them to open the mansion. Xiao Yan frowned tightly. Only at this moment did he understand why these ancient clans held the ancient jade in such high regard. All of these actually relied on the ancient jade. However, things would be troublesome if the Hun clan was allowed to gather all of the ancient jade. You should do things as your instincts tell you to. We are not some world savior. The reason who have trained so hard is because we hope to protect those that we wish to protect. Xiao Xian laughed after seeing Xiao Yan's solemn face. Xiao Yan understand. Xiao Yan nodded and replied respectfully. Xiao Xian patted Xiao Yan's shoulder. He said, I do really like you, little fellow. Unfortunately, you have been born far too late. Xiao Yan involuntarily smiled bitterly and shake his head after hearing this. This was not something within his control. Xiao Yan stood up. His eyes looked into the distance and watched the misty space. Suddenly, he smiled and said, Little fellow, although I am unable to show myself and help you deal with the Han clan, I can still give you something good. Xiao Yan was startled. He looked at Xiao Xian with some doubt. Clearly, he did not understand what Xiao Xian meant by something good. 
The heavenly tomb does not bury any mediocre person. The countless of soul fragments in this place were extremely strong individuals when they were alive. I am no longer able to provide you with much help given your current strength. However, I might be able to aid you in terms of your soul. Xiaoxian smiled. Both of his hands were spread. It was as though he was pressing on the entire heavenly tomb. This abnormal place should not exist. I have been thinking of destroying it since a long time ago. Xiao Xian turned his head towards Xiao Yin after he spoke until this point. His soft voice resounded over this realm. All the energy bodies within the heavenly tomb suddenly trembled. I will use the soul of the heavenly tomb to aid you. Whether you can break through the perfect heavenly state and advance into the D-state soul will depend on your luck. D-state. Soul? Xiao Yin was startled as he watched the smiling Xiao Xian. However, his mouth had turned dry due to the shock from the latter's words. Anything that was even the least bit related with the word D in this world would be synonymous with being strong. It did not matter whether it was a Do D or a D tier medicinal pill. All of these were supreme in the eyes of everyone. Similarly, the D state soul also belonged in this category. Do D, D tier medicinal pill, D state soul. Amongst the three types of D, there was a much higher possibility of one reaching the third given the current condition of the continent. After all, this level did not require one to absorb the so-called Essence D Chi. However, this did not mean that one could easily advance into the D state soul. Based on Xiao Yan's guess, there was likely only two individuals on the current Do Chi continent whose soul had reached the D state. They were Gu Yuan and Han Tiandi. Xiao Yan's current spiritual strength had remained at the perfect heavenly state. This level might only be a step away from the D state, but many experts had never managed to cross this small step. Regardless of how they trained, they were still unable to make any progress. Being an alchemist, Xiao Yin clearly understood this. It had been some years since he had advanced into the perfect heavenly state. However, his spiritual strength had still remained at the perfect heavenly state. That feeling was as though it was impossible to fill the incomparable huge gap between the perfect heavenly state and the D-state no matter how he trained. Hence, after hearing that the thing Xiao Xian was about to give him was actually the D-state soul, Xiao Yin could not help but become a little dull even with his mental fortitude. This, how can this be possible? Xiao Yin was stunned for a long while before he finally recovered. He shook his head and spoke with a bitter smile. Although there were not many people in this world whose soul had reached the perfect heavenly state, if these people still existed. However, based on the experts Xiao Yin had met, no one, other than Han Tiandi and Gu Yuan, had stepped into that stage. It is indeed an extremely difficult task. However, it is not completely impossible. Xiao Xian smiled in a somewhat strange manner. He lifted his head. Those deep eyes looked at the misty, empty space and slowly said, the heavenly tomb soul which I mention is not the soul fragments of this place. Instead, it is the soul of the heavenly tomb itself. Heavenly tomb soul? This heavenly tomb actually has a soul? Xiaoyan's heart suddenly trembled. He looked at Xiao Xian in disbelief as he exclaimed in shock. It is a strange living spirit. It is a living creature that had been formed from the gathering of countless number of soul fragments ever since the heavenly tomb was built. You can treat it as the guardian of this heavenly tomb. Of course, using the term prison warden to describe it is more appropriate. It controls this place and it also bestow upon those energy bodies the desire to devour at the same time. Xiao Xian's eyes directly stared at the empty space and spoke in a faint voice. No one, other than the energy bodies here, can detect its presence. Even Gu Yuan and the others aren't aware of it. Xiao Yin swallowed a mouthful of saliva. This was the first time that he had seen a realm with a soul. Such an occurrence was really too mysterious. The elite Dodi who had built this realm back then could be considered to possess an unpredictable and great skill. Is that fellow very strong? Xiao Yin muttered. Those people who could be buried within the heavenly tomb were all extremely strong individuals when they were alive. Since the soul of the heavenly tomb could absorb their soul fragment imprints, it was likely that this soul was somewhat extraordinary. Very strong. Xiao Xian smiled. Those two simple words caused Xiao Yan's expression to become grave. Since this heavenly tomb soul was able to get Xiao Xian to utter such words, it was likely an extremely terrifying existence. Relax, although it is troublesome, I am still able to deal with it. Xiao Xian's body suddenly rose slowly into the air. 
After the rise of his body, the misty fog that permeated this place quickly disappeared. A frightening pressure spread from within his body. Finally, it enveloped the entire heavenly tomb. All the energy bodies within the heavenly tomb lifted their heads in the face of this frightening pressure. Their eyes looked at the distant Xiao Xin, who was rising into the air. Their originally numb eyes actually revealed a feeling of excitement. The great Xiao Xin, is he finally about to attack it? Saint Xue Dao, who was deep inside the heavenly tomb, suddenly stood up. His body trembled as he looked at the figure slowly rising in the sky. Although this world had allowed them to survive in another form, it was not something that they wished for. The heavenly tomb soul had planted a desire to devour each other within their soul fragments, resulting in this place turning into a world where they devoured each other. In order to strengthen oneself, one must continue to devour other energy bodies. This was no different from cannibalism to them, who were once humans. The heavenly tomb of the past was merely a resting place given to the experts. Since the formation of the heavenly tomb soul, however, this world had become distorted. There had once been people who tried challenging the heavenly tomb soul. However, they were easily devoured by it. The only person in this realm that the heavenly tomb soul was afraid of was Xiao Xian, who was located deep within the heavenly tomb. A long time ago, there had been someone who had begged Xiao Xian to relieve them of their hardship. However, Xiao Xian had ignored them. As time passed, the energy bodies of this place had also gradually become disappointed. Since they were unable to retaliate, they could only quietly endure it. It was precisely because of this that their originally numb hearts involuntarily became boiling hot after they saw this sudden action of Xiao Xian. They hated this devourment of each other. They were humans, not beasts. Back then, I have my own mission and needed to remain here. Now, my mission is completed. I shall help all of you complete the petition from back then. Xiao Xian's body was suspended a hundred thousand feet in the air. The sharp wind that could shatter a soul was unable to approach him. He lowered his head and overlooked the land. That calm voice of his resounded beside everyone's ears. Lord Xiao Xian, some of the energy bodies, which were fighting each other on the ground, suddenly stilled their bodies. Those scarlet and numb eyes revealed a fluctuation. After which, they trembled and lifted their heads to look at the figure standing with his hands behind him in the sky. Many figures on the ground began to kneel at this moment. Xiao Yin had also lifted his body. He watched the actions of the energy bodies within this heavenly tomb and became quiet. Being an outsider, he was unaware of just what had happened. Naturally, he was unable to understand the feeling in their hearts. However, he was at the very least able to understand one thing. This heavenly tomb soul was not well liked. Rumble. The horizon of the empty space suddenly emitted a loud rumbling sound while this thought flashed within Xiao Yan's heart. The loud sound was like a roaring thunder as it swept from deep within the empty space, causing many energy bodies within the heavenly tomb to tremble intensely. Xiao Yan's eyes stared intently at the distant horizon. At this moment, he was vaguely able to sense an ocean like deep, unfathomable spiritual fluctuation suddenly appearing. This spiritual fluctuation was extremely terrifying. Xiao Yan felt as though a mountain was pressing on his from just a brief contact. Although this spiritual fluctuation was frightening, it gave him a somewhat mottled feeling. It was likely due to it having devoured too much soul fragment imprints. An invisible spiritual fluctuation gathered within the grayish and misty space. A moment later, the space shook and a hundred thousand feet large giant face suddenly appeared in the sky from the emptiness. The huge face was filled with a cold and strange expression. Is this the heavenly tomb soul? Xiao Yan muttered to himself. His expression had become grave as he looked at the huge spiritual face that was formed in the sky. Xiao Xian, we have usually never meddle in each other's matter. Don't tell me that you are planning to break our agreement today. The huge face rolled as a pair of completely emotionless eyes watched Xiao Xian, who was floating in the sky. The icy cold voice was just like lightning that reverberated over the sky. Xiao Xian watched the huge face only to smile. He softly said, Your birth is a mistake in itself. It is likely that the elite Dou Di, who had built the heavenly tomb back then, did not expect that a creature like you would be born here. Nonsense. I have been born according to the will of my master. I am the guardian of this realm. All of you should follow my rules if you wish to live again. The huge face churned as the heavenly tomb soul spoke indifferently. All of them have lived because of the heavenly tomb not because of you. Xiao Xian shook his head and said, I am the heavenly tomb, 
The heavenly tomb is me. The heavenly tomb soul's voice suddenly became a lot sharper. You are not the heavenly tomb. Your formation is also not because of the heavenly tomb. Instead, it is because of the gathering of their soul fragment. From a certain point of view, they are your creators. Xiao Xian smiled slightly. His calm tone caused that huge face to become increasingly distorted. It looked incomparably ferocious. Since you insist on dying, I shall fulfill your wish. The huge face moved. Suddenly, an incomparably huge spiritual storm was spat out from its huge mouth. The storm rotated wildly, appearing just like the tip of a cone as it shot violently towards Xiao Xian. Xiao Xian merely stepped forward in the face of the attack by the heavenly tomb soul. He slowly headed towards the huge face. That seemingly ferocious spiritual storm penetrated through his body upon contact. It did not appear to cause him any harm. Xiao Xian's body walked to the front of the huge face without obstruction. His body suddenly revealed a kind of strange spark. That feeling was as though their soul had been burned. Hand over your spiritual essence. A strange flame spread from within Xiao Xian's body from all directions. However, the smile on his face appeared increasingly gentle. Incinerating one's soul? Xiao Xian, you are crazy. That huge face suddenly revealed a great shock after seeing the strange flame rising from Xiao Xian's body. His sharp voice cried out, incinerating one's soul. You are going to completely vanish from this world. Incinerating one's soul? Xiao Yan's body trembled violently as he stood below. His expression immediately changed drastically. Being an alchemist, he naturally understood why a soul would ignite. This was a method similar to the self-destruction of one's body which made it possible to unleash an extremely great strength for a temporary period of time. However, the price of it was one's life. This soul ignition was similar. It burns one's soul in order to obtain a sudden increase in strength. The price of it was one's soul would completely be destroyed. Ancestor Xiao Yan's body shook slightly. His eyes involuntarily turned slightly red. Xiao Xian did not mention that he would ignite his own soul. My mission has been completed. It is unimportant whether I live or die. Xiao Xian merely smiled in the face of the somewhat frightened heavenly tomb soul. After which, he ceased speaking. He lifted his hand, which contained a flame, and grabbed towards the ladder from a distance. Immediately, a terrifying suction force was formed on his palm. It was possible to see an intense fluctuation suddenly being formed on the huge mouth of the heavenly tomb soul. It was as though there was something being forcefully dragged out. Do you drag me with you if you wish to die? The heavenly tomb soul roared furiously. The entire heavenly tomb had trembled under its roar. Its huge mouth was widened and an invisible spiritual spear, which was thousands of feet in size, suddenly shot out. It tore through the space and ruthless shot towards Xiao Xian. I have ignited my soul as a price. You are unable to stop me. Xiao Xian appeared extremely calm in the face of the retaliation of the heavenly tomb. He smiled slightly and directly extended his hand. After which, he clenched it gently. A sharp sonic wave erupted. The spiritual spear came to a sudden halt. Finally, it turned around with a wave of Xiao Xian's sleeve. Instead, it shot back towards the heavenly tomb soul in an even more ferocious manner. There was even some strange clusters of flame on the spear. It was the flame from the incineration of a soul. Swoosh. The speed at which the spear shot backwards was extremely quick. Within an instant, it had directly turned into a fire glow that penetrated through the huge face. Immediately, the flame contained on the spear seemed to have met some dried wood. It spread at lightning speed with a boom. Ah. The spreading flame caused a miserable screech to be emitted from the heavenly tomb soul. If it was an ordinary fight, the heavenly tomb soul might be slightly cautious of Xiao Xian, but it would not be terrified of him. However, the latter had incinerated his own soul the moment they started fighting. Naturally, his strength had soared. Even the heavenly tomb soul had a great difficulty fighting Xiao Xian. Moreover, the flame from the incineration of one's soul had an extremely lethal effect on a spiritual body like the heavenly tomb soul. The huge spiritual face in the sky was covered by a flame. Finally, the large face shrunk rapidly. At the same time, waves after waves of uncontrolled spiritual assault continuously erupted from within his body, causing the entire place to be turned upside down. All the energy bodies were frightened to the point of fleeing far from this region. They were afraid that they would be completely destroyed if they got caught in the fight. The purifying demonic lotus flame burned around Xiaoyan's body. 
Although the spiritual assault was extremely strong, it was still possible for Xiao Yin to resist it with his strength. Hence, he did not step back. His eyes were tightly focused on the battle in the sky. Xiao Xian's current spiritual strength had already reached quite a terrifying level. Regardless of how Xiao Yin probed, it was impossible for him to detect a limit. Clearly, the incineration of his soul had allowed Xiao Xian to enter an undefeatable state. However, Xiao Yin involuntarily clenched his hand tightly the moment he thought of how this condition would require Xiao Xian to pay his soul as a price. The current Xiao Xian might only be a soul fragment, but he was at least still surviving. After this battle, however, his soul would completely vanish from this world after it was completely ignited. Xiao Xian, I will not let you off. The huge face shrunk within the flame. A moment later, it actually turned into a human form. Scarlet Eye stared intently at Xiao Xian as a murderous desire surged. Xiao Xian completely ignored the roar of the heavenly tomb soul. Both of his hands were placed together. They swiftly formed many complicated seals. With the formation of the seals, many fire lights suddenly shot out from his fingers. Finally, they swiftly entwined together in the sky and turned into a huge formation. At the middle of the formation was the heavenly tomb soul. Sizzle, sizzle. Before the heavenly tomb soul could react to the created formation, rays of flames began to fall from all directions within the formation. After which, he heard some sizzling sound. Countless rays of flames penetrated through the body of the heavenly tomb soul and hung it within the formation. Bang, bang. The heavenly tomb soul struggled wildly in the face of this entanglement. Waves after waves of spiritual fluctuation, which caused even Xiao Yan's expression to change, continuously smashed onto those rays of flames which entangled around him like a cannonball. However, those seemingly weak rays of flames seemed to have a great restraining effect on spiritual strength. Regardless of how powerful the spiritual attack was, it would swiftly pale upon contact with the rays of flame. You must be really underestimating Xiao Xian if you think I am unable to finish you off in this state. Xiao Xian glanced at the wildly struggling heavenly tomb soul. He smiled faintly. His voice was not loud, but it had a domineering ripple. Even though the ultimate expert from back then was currently a soul fragment, he still possessed a dominating aura. Xiao Xian, let me off. We can discuss whatever you want. The tone of the heavenly tomb soul had been softened greatly after struggling futilely for a long while. It understood that Xiao Xian was far stronger than it in his current state. However, if it could delay the time, Xiao Xian would vanish even if it did not attack. There is no need for any discussion. Hand over your spiritual essence. Xiao Xian merely smiled in the face of the soft tone of the heavenly tomb soul. The countless rays of flame suddenly pierced ruthlessly into the latter's body. After which, the rays of flames were slowly withdrawn. With the movement of the rays of flames, it was possible to see a 10 feet large crystal clear light cluster slowly being extracted from within the body of the heavenly tomb soul. A bright light scattered from within this crystal clear light cluster when a portion of it was exposed. Xiaoyan's hand was extended into the light cluster in front of him. A warm feeling immediately appeared within his soul. Currently, he seemed to be able to hear the greedy cry from within his soul. Is this the spiritual essence of the heavenly tomb soul? Xiao Yan muttered to himself. He had once obtained some of the spiritual essence from the Hall of Soul after destroying the Man Hall of the Hall of Soul. However, the spiritual essence back then appeared insignificant as compared to this light cluster currently in front of him. The purity of the latter was many times stronger than those spiritual essence within the Hall of Soul. Roar Roar The Heavenly Tomb Soul emitted a wild, beast-like roar after the soul essence was forcefully pulled out. It had finally become afraid at this moment. Xiao Xian, release me. I will hand the entire heavenly tomb to you. You can have everything you want. The heavenly tomb soul continued to scream under this fear. However, its scream was completely useless. Xiao Xian did not even bother to look at it. The seals formed by his hands changed rapidly and the rays of flames were enlarged. Finally, half of that crystal clear light cluster was forcefully dragged out from the body of the heavenly tomb soul. Xiao Xian, I am going to fight it out with you. The heavenly tomb soul finally understood that it would completely perish unless it fought all out after sensing the rapidly diminishing energy within its body. Light surged from within its body. Some flames actually began to surge. It was also forced to ignite its own soul. Bam! 
However, the fire seedlings had only just rose from its body when a palm suddenly descended from the sky and ruthlessly slammed onto his face. That great strength directly sent him flying. At the same time, the round crystal clear light cluster also emitted a puff sound and was dragged out from within the spiritual body of the heavenly tomb. Don't. Return it to me. A weak feeling immediately filled the body of the heavenly tomb soul after its spiritual essence was being forcefully extracted. It roared crazily as it charged towards the spiritual essence. Xiao Xian waved his hand in the face of the heavenly tomb soul, which was charging over. A frightening wind forced the ladder back, causing it to smash onto the ground. The eyes of those energy bodies in the distance suddenly became red after the heavenly tomb soul landed on the ground. Hatred flickered within those eyes. Finally, they rushed forward from all directions amidst a low and deep roar and crazily attacked the incomparably weak Heavenly Tomb Soul. Ah, the Heavenly Tomb Soul was naturally unable to block such a number of attack after its strength was extracted. Hence, miserable screech soon sounded. Its body was also shattered into dust. A furious soul fragment that was filled with dissatisfaction drifted upwards before gradually scattering with the wind. This heavenly tomb soul had actually ended up with such a fate. The blood-red eyes of those energy bodies on the ground immediately became much clearer after the heavenly tomb soul disappeared. The desire of wanting to devour the other party when they looked at those around them had also diminished greatly. They were startled for a moment before all of them knelt respectfully towards Xiao Xian in the sky. Xiao Xian did not bother about the action of these energy bodies. The ten feet large crystal clear light cluster was suspended in front of him. His eyes looked towards Xiao Yin below and smiled slightly. Little fellow, this is all that I can do. Whether you will be able to break through to the D-State soul will completely depend on your luck. Ancestor Xiao Yin looked at Xiao Xian, who was smiling warmly. His nose involuntarily felt a little soul. Refine and absorb it, Xiao Xian grinned. He flicked his finger and the crystal clearly light cluster in front of him slowly flew downwards. Bright light was continuously emitted from within. It appeared just like a warm sun. Xiaoyan watched the crystal clear light cluster suspended in front of him. The vast and mighty spiritual strength spreading within it was as deep and unfathomable as the ocean. Even his perfect heavenly state soul appeared quite tiny in front of the spiritual strength. The heavenly tomb soul was formed by the soul fragments of countless of experts after their deaths. The spiritual strength it contained could only be described as terrifying. Ancestor, Xiao Yin will definitely revive the glory of the Shao clan. Xiao Yin inhaled a deep breath of air. He once again noted oh respectfully towards Xiao Xian in the sky. After which, he did not say anything more. He took a stride forward and directly walked into the bright light cluster. Immediately, a light flashed and swallowed Xiao Yin's entire body into it. Xiao Xian's body appeared a little pale as he stood in the sky. He looked at the crystal clear light cluster, which appeared just like a sun. A pleased smile was formed on his face. He was extremely satisfied with this descendant. Perhaps, Xiao Yin was able to finish what he was unable to do back then. There's still some time. Hopefully, I can wait until you exit your retreat. Xiao Xian muttered. He immediately sat outside of the light cluster. Those calm eyes occasionally swept over the ground. All the energy bodies hurriedly looked away and back off by a great distance under his glance. The spiritual essence of the heavenly tomb soul was a great temptation to them. However, it was clear that no one dared to allow this temptation to take root under the deterrence of Xiao Xian. This place was a seemingly endless sea. Waves churned over the sea. There seemed to be waves of roars that originated from within one soul resounding over this place. Xiao Yan's body floated in the air above the sea. His eyes looked towards the sea below. There was a dense shock within his eyes. The light cluster did not appear large, but he did not expect that there was another world behind it. After Xiao Yan's probing of this sea, he had ended up with a shocking conclusion. This sea was actually completely formed by spiritual strength. It was the first time that Xiao Yan had seen such a vast and mighty frightening spiritual strength. Compared to this spiritual sea, his perfect heavenly state soul appeared to be completely insignificant. Unexpectedly, the heavenly tomb soul is this terrifying. No wonder even Ancestor has to ignite his own soul, Xiao Yin frowned tightly. Only at this moment did he understand why Xiao Xian would have to use this kind of mutual suicide method when attacking the heavenly tomb soul despite his ability. 
It was actually because even Xiao Xin did not have the confidence to defeat the Heavenly Tomb Soul in his normal state. The Heavenly Tomb Soul had already disappeared. All the spiritual strength is this place does not have an owner. Xiao Yan's throat rolled involuntarily. If rumors of this was to spread, it was likely that all the experts from the continent would rush over in a crazy fashion. As long as one was able to refine the spiritual strength of this place, their soul would definitely reach a relatively terrifying level. It was even possible to reach that legendary D-State soul. This gift that Xiao Xian had bestowed upon him was a really great one. Xiao Yan clenched his fist tightly. His eyes also gradually became determined. Now was not the time to be indecisive. The reason Xiao Xian had paid such a hefty price to provide him with this gift was to allow him to possess some ability to resist the Hun clan. Xiao Yan currently did not have much time left. He must not waste it. The flow of time in this place is also different compared to the heavenly tomb. Xiao Yan lifted his head. He looked at this space and a grave expression was formed in his eyes. He discovered that the richness of the spiritual strength in this place had actually altered the flow of time. From a certain point of view, this was a heavenly tomb that had been shrunk by many times. However, the flow of time in this place was likely even slower than that of the heavenly tomb. A heavenly tomb within the heavenly tomb. Who? Xiao Yan let out a long breath. He gradually steadied his emotions. The time in this place was slowly than that of the heavenly tomb. This was good for him. Otherwise, he did not know if he was really able to refine all of these vast and mighty spiritual sea within two months or so. Shayan sat in the air. His body slowly descended from the sky and landed on the surface of the sea. Spiritual strength swiftly surged out from his brow. After which, a low cry sounded and it turned into a huge illusory figure that was a couple of thousand feet in size. The illusory figure covered around Xiao Yin and sat down. Fierce purifying demonic lotus flame began to spread from within the huge spiritual illusory body. It directly dyed the spiritual illusory figure into a flame-covered person. A terrifying heat spread throughout this space. Rumble. The spiritual sea, where Xiao Yin was located, began to whistle after the purifying demonic lotus flame covered Xiao Yin's spiritual illusory body. A 10,000 feet large swirl was formed below it. Spiritual strength shot out from all directions. It seemed to have suffered a kind of intense pull as it began to turn into many thousand feet large spiritual water pillar that continuously shot into the huge spiritual illusory figure. Sizzle sizzle. The seemingly real spiritual water pillar heavily smashed onto the spiritual illusory figure. However, waves of sizzling sound was erupted after the spiritual water pillar touched the purifying demonic lotus flame. Dense white fog rose. Finally, it turned into a cloud that covered Xiao Yan's huge spiritual illusory body. The spiritual strength of this place might be considered vast and mighty, but it was a little modeled. After all, the heavenly tomb soul had been formed by absorbing countless of souls belonging to dead experts. However, this was not considered troublesome for Xiao Yin, who possessed the purifying demonic lotus flame. The purification ability of the purifying demonic lotus flame was extremely useful when it came to refinement. Moreover, there was also little E present within Xiao Yan's body. With just a thought, all of the purifying ability would merge into the spiritual strength within his body and refine it into the purest form. Many huge spiritual water pillars continuously leaped from the surface of the vast and mighty sea like huge pythons. Finally, they poured onto the spiritual illusory figure seated in the sky. It caused the huge illusory figure to gradually emit a fluorescent light after a fog that could cover the sun was erupted. Looking from a distance, it actually appeared like a divine statue standing in this world and was filled with a monstrous pressure. This refinement effect could cause many to be greatly shocked. The spiritual sea had also began to form many huge waves with the flow of time as it continuously rumbled over this world. While Xiao Yin was devouring and refining the spiritual strength like a whale, the pressure emitted from his soul also gradually became increasingly terrifying. His surging spiritual strength gradually approached the legendary state at a steady pace. One month passed. It had been a month within the heavenly tomb since Xiao Yin had entered the cluster of light. Xiao Yin did not show any sign of exiting his retreat during this month. The interior of the light cluster did not emit any strange fluctuation. Everything was exactly the same as one month ago. Xiao Xian was quietly sitting outside of the crystal clear light cluster. 
Both of his eyes were slightly shut. He appeared like a meditating monk. His body had become much paler as compared to a month ago. Moreover, from his appearance, he had also began to age. Everyone could tell that he was already about to reach the end of his life. However, he continued to wait persistently. Many energy bodies on the ground watched Xiao Xian's gradually paling body. They felt some grief. The saddest thing was the fall of a hero. Xiao Xian was a matchless individual both when he was alive and when he was dead. However, he was now merely showing the lethargy of an ordinary old man. The eyes under the white eyebrow twitched. They were slowly opened. His elderly face revealed a smile as he looked at the cluster of light in front of him. His body had also become a lot more illusory at this moment. Little fellow, my time's almost up. The old man's soft mutter resounded over the sky. One month within the heavenly tomb was just like a year for Xiao Yin, who was deep within the spiritual sea. The enormous spiritual illusory figure sat on the sea. Rich cloud covered the entire world. The spiritual illusory figure had become increasingly real. At the end, it had basically been turned into a real giant that was a couple of thousand feet in size. That manner was as though it was a Xiao Yin that had been magnified by many times. Xiao Yin's breathing was just like thunder. A dense cloud surged into his nostrils like a dragon cloud. His hair was like a 10,000 feet huge waterfall. His clothes fluttered, and a kind of terrifying huge wave was stirred on the surface of the sea. A king of the world like Aura seemed to be vaguely emitted from the enormous spiritual body. This Aura was as though his was the overlord of souls. Many energy bodies quietly sigh after the final day of the second month within the heavenly tomb had arrived. This was because the elderly figure in the sky had paled until it was almost invisible. Even though this was the case, the old man continued to wait quietly. An obsession seemed to have allowed him, who had reached his end, to remain in this world. It seemed. I am unable to wait for it to happen. The already transparent-like figure in the quiet sky fluctuated slightly. Xiao Xian grinned. His eyes revealed a little regret. Little fellow, I feel extremely rest assured that the Xiao clan has you. Goodbye. Xiao Xian's eyes were slowly shut. His body also became increasingly pale. Bang. However, the space within the heavenly tomb suddenly trembled intensely while Xiao Xian's body was about to disappear. A ripple that seemed to belong to the overlord of the world swiftly spread. All the energy bodies involuntarily shuddered wherever the fluctuation spread. That pressure could not be resisted. The eyes of Xiao Xian, who was about to vanish, finally revealed a pleased expression after detecting this fluctuation. This descendant Xiao Yin bids ancestor farewell. In front of countless pairs of shocked eyes, a 10,000 feet large figure, which caused one to hold one's breath, swiftly appeared in the sky. Immediately, the figure slowly knelt down towards Xiao Xian.